Come on, man, you've got one life left. You've only got two letters. How hard can it be? Come on, that blatantly isn't a word. No word in existence doesn't have any of the vowels, let alone has that combination of letters and none of the ones I've already said. That is... That's illogical not to have that. How is it even possible? You must have made the word up. I don't believe it's existence. I'm not playing anymore. I'm not playing. I'm... I'm not playing. I don't believe it's existence. You're a blatant liar. What's this week's word of the week? What's this week's word of the week? Hello, and welcome to another interesting word of the week. How are you today? It's a good day. It's really warm in here. I'm going to open a window. So this week's interesting word of the week is, I believe, in the letter S's. So it's going to be really easy to select an interesting word with the letter S in. I'm not going to have to take a million attempts just to get a page with the letters S on. Okay, so let's randomly select that page there. I should select a word from this page. And oh my god, what a word to select. This word is amazing. I, I literally selected this word randomly before I even read its meaning. I don't care what it meant, I was having it as the interesting word of the week. If you were playing hangman with this word, there is no way the other person would get it. Absolutely no way whatsoever. I do believe, however, that it is a very difficult word to say, so if I say it wrong, then you'd have to excuse me if I say it wrong over the course of the video. So I hear you asking, screaming in fact, just tell me what the word was. The, the clue at the beginning was very difficult and you can't figure it out, can you? You can figure it out because it's in the top of the screen. But regardless of that, so this week's interesting word is going to be too hard to say from that, so I'm going to make the computer say it for me and then I'm going to copy it. Syzygy. Syzygy. You're asking me how it's spelled? You're asking me how it's spelled? Boom! That's how it's spelled. Let's face it, right? You're going to say the vowels first. So you go through all the vowels, it's not there. The next one you'll say is Y because you always say Y. Then logically you pick S because there are more words that have an S in than there are words that don't. So logically, your first decisions would be all of the vowels, creating with five strikes, then Y and S. But then, how are you supposed to know that they're G and Z? Z is the least likely word letter to come up, so who's going to pick Z? Unless you just go, uh, pff, Z, I don't know, you're obviously taking the mic, let Z. Virtually impossible to get, if you're ever playing Hangman, use this word. It's freaking genius. The dictionary definition for this, I will read it straight out and then I'll explain it in layman's. Either of the two positions, conjunction or opposition of a celestial body when sun, earth and the body lie in the straight line. So basically in layman's, I don't agree with two things in alignment. I would say that this word means, when I say I would say, I mean I am right in saying that this word means when three or more celestial bodies are in perfect alignment, they are in syzygy. In syzygy. There you go, that's what it means. I'm not sure if you can apply it to normal things that aren't celestial bodies, as if celestial bodies are normal, but you can definitely apply it to anything out of space. Out in space, anything that's in alignment, they're in syzygy with each other, which is fantastic, I believe. Fantastic. That's, that's what syzygy means. Isn't that amazing? You put that in for hangman and no one will have a clue. No one will have the foggiest idea what that word is. Unless they do physics or study celestial bodies in any way, shape or form. Or, or are incredibly intelligent. Or oh, stop that list there. So, other words for syzygy include. And by other words for syzygy, I mean there aren't any other words for syzygy, it is one of a kind. I'm not surprised either. Why would you even want to create another word which has the same meaning? Apart from the fact that it'll be easier to say, but it's not going to be anywhere near as interesting, so why bother? Just out of interest, has many of you heard this word before? If any, would any of you have got what this word is without looking it up or looking up on the top where it's written in plain sight? Probably over there actually, but irrelevant. Would any of you, have any of you heard of this word before this video? I think this is the first word I've done that I haven't heard of prior to choosing it for this video. Not that I chose all the other words unrandomly. Unrandomly? Yeah. 
Boom! So, that's syzygy basically. Let's see what Urban Dictionary says syzygy means, shall we? Let's just have a look at it. Surprisingly, there are two entries for syzygy. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. The first one is the near perfect alignment of three or more celestial bodies, as in the sun, the moon, and the earth, during a solar eclipse, in a gravitational system. That's syzygy. And the second one, which is pretty good, is close to my reference to Hangman in the beginning, actually. The second entry is a word very valuable in situations where you are playing Scrabble and wish to temporarily infuriate your opponent with your apparent complete disregard for the simple dictionary based rules of the game, only to have them remark in your favour with a certain astonishment when they discover it is really a word. 21 points for that word in Scrabble. After what, in my opinion, the most interesting, interesting word of the week, S word. I will have to bid you farewell, so before I leave I will again remind you that you can see last week's video by clicking in the top left hand corner of the screen and you can see next week's video by clicking in the top right hand corner of the screen. So with myself and hopefully you being enlightened, I'll catch you later.